everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Jessica. I'm Richard. I'm Suji Choi. And today we will be trying out five different Korean alcohols. We have just a typical, very common hype beer today. We have the Makgeolli. Kuksundang. <laughs> let, let Suji do all the, yeah. the yeah, pronunciations. Yeah. The most popular soju. Chamise. <laughs> And this! <laughs> <laughs> and then we have just kind of like a special new thing. It's called maku. It's a makuli beer that's a little bit stronger because this is kind of weak. Oh no, never mind, it's not weak. <laughs> <laughs> just to give you guys a breakdown of how strong these are, this is 4.5%, this is 6%, 17.2%, and this is what? 14. 14%. And this so, is 5%. And that's a 5% right there. Alright, let's start with. Height extra cold. I've had Hype this cold. many times before. If you guys haven't had Korean beers before, they're very light. Yeah. They're very, uh, they're pretty easy to drink. Like Bud Lighty kind of. Cord Lighty. Cheers. Yep. Just as I remember. That is Korean beer. Yeah, so <laughs> Korea. It's not, Korean, Korea isn't really known for their beers, but they're not terrible. Yeah. I would drink this if it's there. It's smooth. It's um. It's a little sweet too. It's not you know. It doesn't taste like pee. Yeah, it doesn't taste like pee. True. It's more more good, better than pee. It has more of like a um, Heineken taste to it. Heineken taste. True. Than yeah. like a course like. Like a worse version of Heineken. Yeah. Like a light version. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to this. Yeah. Let me mix it. This is. Kuksundang Sai Makgeolli, which is rice. Soju. If you guys have never had makgeolli before, it is it is a very strange drink because it's yes. not like your normal beers or sojus. It's cloudy and it's fizzy. It's like a little dusty. Oh, did milky. you have you seen this before? You don't know this trick, do you? Oh my god. She's not even Korean. You gotta squeeze and then when you open it, watch, open it. Barely any pss. Oh, really? All the bubbles, yeah, like you can take <laughs> nice, nice. Alright, so. It looks like milk. <laughs> it sure. Does. It looks like milkisu. Yeah, yeah milkisu. Kind of. I, I like I always makgeolli. thought this was really weak, but... I know some people that don't like makgeolli. I don't like, like makgeolli that much. Really? I, just, I think it's so easy to drink. It's it not good really for easy. hangover. So it's, it's very dense. It almost tastes like you're drinking milk that is alcoholic. That's also kind gone of. a little sour because it has like a slight carbonation to it. So, so if you like sour rotten milk, milk <laughs> this is for you. Definitely. Yeah. yeah There's right? gotta be a lot of sugar. It's in so this. sweet. Oh, they give you the nutrition facts on this. That's the first. 12 grams of sugar. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of sugar in this. Yeah, that's a lot. That's why the hangover came yeah. from the sugar. No, you're right. <sighs> All right, so this next one is a new, uh, newly developed beer that is a makgeolli flavored beer and it's mango flavored instead of the original, so it'll be a little bit different, so. It, the cool is. It literally looks as if you mixed beer and makgeolli. Oh yeah. I don't know it's if I'm excited good. to try this. I was really excited to try this, but now I'm not. <laughs> Actually, it smells good. It smells like really? too. Like, like, what is it? You said mango? Mm -hmm. Oh, it smells like lychee though. Or lychee, yeah. Yeah. It smells like truly. Oh, that's good. Wow. That's really good. That's like not alcohol. Mm. This is 5%, yeah. so. Really? Wow. Yeah, it's 5%. Wow, it's really delicious. Yeah, it's really this good. Yeah. really good. I can enjoy this one. Oh. <laughs> so what, what did we say? This was 14 grams of sugar? 12. 12 grams of sugar. This is... 26 grams of sugar. Oh my god. Alright, so we'll all be in bed tomorrow. I like drinking this, but I don't think I'm gonna like how I feel tomorrow, so I probably won't drink this. Wow. I, this is not something you can drink a lot, or I could drink yeah. a lot of. Yeah, because it's a little too it's sweet. It's too sweet, but like just a little bit like this, it's really good. Next! Alright, now we have soju, the most no! popular Korean alcohol. So if you guys have never had soju before, I'm gonna show you what you're supposed to do. So you're not supposed to just open this up like normal. So there's sugars on the bottom and you have to mix it. And so what Korean people will do is they'll they'll yeah. they'll do this and they'll do like a little tornado like yeah, that, yeah, if you can yeah, see. Yeah. And then they'll <laughs> do a little bit of that action there. <laughs> get on your elbow and uh, and yeah. And do then the it'll be all mixed thing up. Thing where you do the thing. And then you'll have people like my cousin Stefano, shout out to <laughs> Stefano, who does things like this. 
apparently that does something. It's supposed to get like yeah. the dirt out. Because yeah, the first the dirty soup alcohol. is yeah. Dirty. But I don't, I don't know. If you go to Korea, this is cheaper than water. It's like a dollar a bottle. True. It's so, really cheap. And it's pretty strong for what it is. I just got soju all over my yeah, table. Yeah, <laughs> everywhere. I just want little, really little. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I wish we kind of started with this, just to get it over with. I'm not a fan of soju. It's um, it tastes like watered down vodka. Yeah. Ooh. Some people really like soju, or so they say. It is easy to drink. Is it though? I mean, like it's because it's so watered down. No, no, no. Compared no, no, to no. like vodka. It's so like hospital shot taste. Hus exactly. Hospital shot taste. Hospital it does kind of taste like um, when you get Novocaine at the dentist and they're taking the needle out and a little bit gets like on your tongue. Ah, soju is really good. Okay. okay, so the last one is Seolchungme, which is snow between Pulau. I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Chinese. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, Chinese character is it. I think. And you can see the plum inside and the bottle. Can you see it? Yeah, I think you can see it. Yeah. Ooh. Fancy. No, I think you leave it on, right? There's a whole. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. You do leave it on. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it's a, so it doesn't so like pour out really don't. fast. Ah. Suji don't know nothing. Anyway, so you're so looking true. at it like. It looks like a light whiskey almost. It looks like apple juice. Yeah, it looks like apple oh, juice. Oh yeah, it is. Cheers. It smells funky. It does, what the heck? It smells kind of like Play-Doh. Mm. A little bit. You like that? It's really strong, but it's really good. Um, right? It's better than soju. Mm. I don't know if I am a huge fan of this taste. It tastes fruity, but... It does taste a little off. Like the, the first impression for me was that it tastes like Play Doh. Oh. I think because you're smelling it. It doesn't taste like Play Doh to me. It tastes like plums, but like sour plums. Yeah, a little bit sour. Mm. But I can tell it's really strong, right? It's really strong. It, it goes into <laughs> head straight. All right, so there you have it. I don't know, what do we have? <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, oh, okay beer. Yeah. We have a good makgeolli, but just kind of um, sweet. A, sweet, really a sweet. sweet yeah. This was a this was a uh, surprise for me. Pretty good. It it's just really, really, really sweet. Yeah. And then this yeah. we already knew we didn't like that. We didn't like that much. Um, so so and you get, don't don't you know misinterpret what we're saying. Soju is a staple of Korean yes. life. So if it's there. We're probably gonna drink yeah. it, but we don't prefer it. It's not that good. This is this is like hangover triangle right here. True, soju is the worst. I mean, this has to be drink. Yeah, that has to be too. So, so it's everything here will give you a hangover. It's a hangover territory. Yeah, but if you you know go to Korean barbecue, you have to drink this. So that's just the way it is. So now we'll show you guys a couple of fun and easy cocktails that you guys could do if you don't like the taste of soju oh. specifically. Okay, so we need chamizu and mekju. That's all we need. Okay, let's drink so many. Cheers. Mm. Surprisingly, I might actually prefer this to, to just the beer itself. Just the beer itself, yeah. yeah. Me too. It kind of takes away the like bite. There's like a like a kind of sharp beer taste, um, and having the soju in there kind of takes that away. It makes it very um, like drinkable. It, it's not as. It makes the flavor lighter somehow. Hurry! 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 Doing that. I, I <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so the last cocktail that we have for you is Kojingamle. Kojingamle. All the Koreans know the Kojingamle, which means um, first bitter, last sweet. Right? Yes. Yeah. So we have something else that I brought here from Korea. We call it. Coca-Cola. <laughs> and as far as I know, this is only from Korea. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. So this gochujangmae, how to make the gochujangmae? We need shot of soju and shot of coke. So put the coke first on your glass. 
and put soju in here. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. okay. And put beer. Alright, so it's pretty much going to look like this. You got two shot glasses kind of stuck together and beer all around it. Yeah, and we have to one shot this one. Okay. Hold on, I have to. I, I need time. I need time to ready <laughs> for this. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up. Try your best to not do that. Do that. <laughs> Spill all over me. This is a very interesting concept because you have the Coke at the bottom, you have the soju at the top. You have your beer being poured in, so it's kind of like you drink a somek first, and then the coke comes in at the end as a nice yeah. chaser. It's very uh, yeah. But when you put the soju shot into the coke one, it spills out a little bit, so there's like a little bit of flavor there, yeah. and it ends up tasting like those Coca-Cola gummies that you get at like those candy stores. <laughs> what kind of gummies are you eating? What the heck? All right. Well, I learned a lot about Korea today. Seriously? <laughs> They're alcoholics. Yeah, they kind of. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie dos. Thank you for joining us on our journey through Korean alcohols. Um, these are really easy to find at your local Asian grocery market. So if you guys are interested in trying it out and you haven't before, that's where you can go. If you enjoyed our video today, please like and subscribe down below. If you have other thoughts about these or other Korean alcohols that we have not tried today, because I know there's a ton of them that you think we should try, drop a comment down below and maybe we'll try it out next time. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye, Bye guys.